Two words that absolutely change the way I feel and think about sewing are capsule wardrobe. So today I'm sharing with you my winter capsule that consists out of seven sewing makes, seven free sewing patterns, and makes seven wonderful looks for this winter season. It makes it so much easier to get dressed and to be inspired to wear what you actually made. So let's get started. Hello my dear sewing friends, it's Elisa here with Thoughtful Creativity. I am super excited about today's video, so thank you so much for tuning in and let's talk about capsule wardrobes. So in my opinion, any good capsule wardrobe will start with basics and that's pretty much what capsule wardrobe is about. And it can be as uh, simple as a t-shirt, a sleeveless top, a shell top, a long sleeve shirt, or maybe a blouse. It really depends on your lifestyle. So for me, these are my basics for my winter capsule wardrobe. So a simple basic t-shirt is a great foundation for any wardrobe. It doesn't have to be an actual capsule wardrobe. Here I have Kirsten Kimono tee by Maria Denmark. It is one of my most beloved free sewing patterns. You can make it in so many different variations and so many different fabrics and it is a truly versatile piece. Turtleneck is my go-to piece during cold winter months. It's easy to style, it's very versatile, it looks stylish, you can layer it. And this is Monroe Turtleneck by Tessuti Fabrics. Tank top might not seem like a winter piece, but it is absolutely great for layering. This is Durango Tank Top by Hey June Handmade, and I absolutely love layering it underneath one of my turtlenecks. When it is cold, you really can't make it without a long sleeve shirt. This is a Hemlock Tee by Grainline Studio, super versatile and easy to make. Shell tops are great for any season, but in the winter times I use it to feel a little bit more dressed up. This is a Calypso top by one of the French designers and it has a beautiful little bow in the back. You know, sewing for winter is always a little bit more complicated just because there's so many layers involved like outerwear and then underneath layer and then sometimes we also wear something underneath the underneath layer if it's definitely cold where you live. So sewing for winter is always a little bit more complicated but don't let that discourage you. Just stick within the same color palette and go for simple basic pieces that will make it so much easier for you to make a wonderful capsule wardrobe. Outerwear is the king during winter times because that's what you're going to be wearing most of the time. Here I have my Sherpa coat made with Peppermint Sewing Magazine pattern and a vest that actually my mom made for me and I will leave a similar free sewing pattern in the info box below. You know, when you look at my pieces, you can definitely see that the color scheme or color story is pretty much the same. It's either beige or cream or brown or white or maybe a little bit of a darker brown as well. And that brings us to a next point that if you go with the same color palette throughout your whole capsule wardrobe, it actually makes it so much easier for you to combine pieces and to make endless possibilities with what you already have without needing to sew a lot, a lot of clothing just to have something to wear. My biggest advice, particularly on creating winter capsule wardrobe, is to make sure that your outerwear goes with at least 50% of the pieces that you're wearing because that's what's going to make it so much easier for you to get dressed and you won't be needing to sew a lot, a lot of clothing. Now, another advice would be to stick within the same color palette like I did over here. You can see the majority of my pieces are within the same color scheme and it's super easy to combine them together. And the third thing is if you wear sporty clothes, sew everything in the same style. If you wear a business casual, so everything or majority of your pieces in business casual style. That will make it so much easier for you to work on your pieces in your capsule wardrobe. Never ever underestimate a good accessory. Accessories can actually make or break the garment. They can also transform your garment so you don't have to sew a lot, yet you can make beautiful compositions out of what you already have just by combining these pieces together and adding a little accessory. So my winter capsule wardrobe is somewhat sporty slash casual, but there are days when I want to look a little bit more classy or a little bit more elegant. And what I do is I take a belt, just elasticated belt with a nice big buckle in the middle. This is kind of the style that I am going for. And some jewelry that would actually elevate the look and make it look a little bit more classy, a little bit more feminine. And I put the belt on and now I finally have the waist, <laughs> which is usually not the case with, with the Sherpa coat because it is big and fluffy. And and this is what I was going for in the beginning, but if I want to look more feminine, this is what I do. If I want to wear my coat more like a cardigan, I overlap the lapels, just like I'm doing over here, and now I have even more of a cinched look. Quite simple, right? But actually, sometimes the simplest things have the biggest impact. 
A scarf is another great accessory that can change and elevate your look depending on the style and the fabric of the scarf. Here, what I want to show you is that you don't have to completely change everything to, to get a completely new look. I'm using my Sherpa coat, my blouse, a string of pearls. If I pair it with jeans and some high heel boots, I can actually go out like this. You know, capsule wardrobes, a lot of times people think that it's super difficult to get started with one. It actually isn't. It might take a little bit longer to get through your first capsule wardrobe, but then once you already know what you're doing, it is so easy and it gets you a lot more free time to do other stuff because you're just not sewing as much but then you're sewing beautiful wonderful pieces that you're actually going to wear and this is one of the biggest benefits that I find in capsule wardrobe so if you've been wondering how to sew it's not necessarily less but how to make clothes that you're actually going to wear capsule wardrobe definitely might be a solution for you let me show you the seven looks that I wear the most with these pieces. Now, the first one that you see in front of you is the orange scarf, my Sherpa coat, and the beanie that I actually made. The scarf is also handmade as well. I knitted myself, and you can see, orange scarf adds a little pop of color the hat um, really keeps me warm it's a really nice sporty look this is what i usually go for because i do have you know i can't say a super sporty lifestyle but i do have a one-year-old so i have to be kind of prepared for everything and a turtleneck underneath Look number two is when I like to wear my Sherpa coat as a cardigan. It features the same belt that I showed you a little bit earlier and a turtleneck. Depending on occasion, I might throw in a string of pearls just to make it a little bit more festive, but this is just a really nice way to cinch up my waist and kind of make it look a little bit more feminine. It is also very comfortable, very, very warm, and it pretty much is great for any occasion, whether I'm going somewhere with my one-year-old or if it's me and my husband and we want to go out for dinner. Um, the turtleneck is a really great addition to this. Now here in Tennessee, weather is so unpredictable and there are some days in the winter time like today when it's really not cold and I want to wear something that's a little bit lighter than my Sherpa coat. So this vest that my mom made for me is perfect, perfect for this kind of weather. Look number four features a little pop of blue color thanks to this scarf and I actually usually wear it with my blue backpack which kind of completes the blue scheme or blue color story of this look. Underneath I have a hemlock tee by Greenline Studio. One of my favorite things to do is to actually play with different textures of the fabrics within the same look and within the same capsule wardrobe. And sometimes it's a little scary to do because here, for example, I have a string of pearls, I have this silk chiffon, super ladylike scarf, and then I have a big fluffy Sherpa coat, which is pretty sporty piece. But if you combine them all together with a beautiful, nice a blush pink shell top underneath and you wear it as a cardigan, it creates a really nice, soft, super feminine lady look. Look number six is straightforward, no brainer, easy peasy, throw it together, put it on yourself and you are done. It's Hemlock Tea by Greenland Studio and the vest that my mom made for me. The thing that I like about this look, it's not too hot. I don't have that turtleneck around my neck, which makes it super hot. Look number seven is super cozy and as you can tell, I love a good scarf and I truly believe that this is such a versatile piece that will elevate your outfit in minutes. I have a Kirsten Kimono tee underneath, which I also wear year round, not just during winter time. And I have a blush pink scarf that gives kind of like a really nice rosy tone to the whole outfit. I have a beanie, which by the way is also a free sewing pattern by uh, Patterns for Pirates and I will leave it in the info box below for you. And the whole outfit all together is super nice super warm super snuggly perfect for winter if you got excited and you want to start your own capsule wardrobe or you want to at least try then definitely check out this video that you see on your screens right now it is full with wonderful and basic free sewing patterns that you will need to start your capsule wardrobe it is one of my earlier videos so definitely bear with me but the information is definitely good so keep on watching and I will see you in the next video thank you so much guys bye